Hello, it's Scott Manley here with, well, what is a rather half-assed copy of the Falcon Heavy in Kerbal Space Program. Now, as you probably know, the Falcon Heavy is essentially what happens when you take three Falcon 9s and build them together. You have 27 engines worth of power and you're able to lift some quite substantial payloads. I've heard numbers like 50 tons to low Earth orbit used in full expendable mode. However, that was from the early days when a lot of features were proposed which and uh, didn't actually f make it into the current design. For example, fuel crossfeed, something that we love so much in Kerbal Space Program, continues to be uh, something that is actually very hard to do in real life. So yeah, the center stack runs at lower thrust, and uh, then of course the outer stack burns through their fuel more quickly. These guys get to turn around and go home, and this one continues carrying the second stage up into orbit. Now the reason why I'm making this video is there's been some developments recently. First of all, with the fairing problems related to the Zuma payload, it means that uh, Falcon Heavy has been pushed out to next year. It was thought that it might end up launching on uh, December 29th, but that is not to be. But the big news is that the mysterious payload has finally been revealed. And this is uh, somebody else's approximation of it. Actually, this is somebody else's approximation of a supercar. So Elon Musk revealed that uh, it was going to be a Tesla Roadster. Now, the Tesla Roadster is the new electric car. Obviously, they're still working on getting the Tesla 3 production up to speed. There's been the Tesla X and the Tesla S. The Roadster is a supercar that is electric powered and will do 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds and all that other stuff. And for those of you that have done the math, that is not to 60 faster than the Falcon 9 rocket. But Elon has said that they will launch one of these, a cherry red one, into a heliocentric orbit which will go out to Mars. Furthermore, it will be playing Space Oddity, although has not been clarified whether this is the David Bowie version or the Chris Hadfield version or any of the other versions. It's not the first time a car has been put on a rocket either. Back in 1975, the French space agency put a Renault on top of their new Diamant BP-4 rocket. And of course, there is the infamous Reliant Robin. So the next time somebody asks, where's my flying car? Guess what? It's going to be in deep space. But before you think that Tesla are going to be sending a roadster to the surface of Mars, that's not what he said. He said it will go out to Mars and will be in orbit for millions of years. And given that the Falcon Heavy launch date has continued to change, it's not like they were waiting for a Mars window, although we will have a Mars window in early next year and will launch InSight. But even if it is delayed to the Martian launch window, I highly doubt they will be sending a car there. More likely they will be sending it into a heliocentric orbit that will go out to that distance, but stay the heck away from Mars, for the simple reason that planetary protection people would be very unhappy if some jackass decided to drop a car on the surface of Mars and potentially contaminate the, any life that might actually be there. So anyway, that mystery has apparently been solved. If you remember on the first launch of the Dragon capsule, they put a very large cheese on board. This, however, is not going to be coming back to Earth. And yeah, Elon Musk did promise that they would launch the silliest thing possible. And many, many people, including myself, suggested that Elon actually launch a Tesla and demonstrate that it could now get infinite miles on a single charge. I also suggested that maybe they wanted to work with the Mythbusters and uh, test something like Moose. It would be very cool to see Buster trying to re-enter the atmosphere on an inflatable heat shield. But no, we've got this Tesla going off into deep space and playing, playing music on a loop. I'm presuming that they're figuring out how to attach a solar array to it because it would be unfortunate if this thing went quiet at some point and, you know, ended up getting in a crash and their insurance, ha insurance hasn't been updated. It's also worth noting that this would actually be SpaceX's first real deep space payload. While SpaceX is now launching more satellites than almost anyone else, these are all orbiting. They're all uh, going to low Earth orbit or geostationary orbit. The most distant 
object on the most distant payload that SpaceX has so far launched has been Discover, which went all the way to the Sun-Earth L1 point. So I guess this would actually show that SpaceX is capable of launching interplanetary missions. The first launch of any rocket is you know, considered a high-risk technology demonstrator, and lots of people wouldn't necessarily want to fly their payloads on it. After all, remember Ariane 5, which uh, flew with the Cluster spacecraft that ended up being known as the Cluster... never mind. Anyway, the precise orbit is not yet known, it's just a couple of comments on Twitter from Elon Musk. So uh, all I could say is that if it does eventually end up hitting a planet, I suspect that the NTSB's 5 star safety rating for the Tesla probably won't help it very much against the rigours of re-entry. As for this, this is actually a stock vehicle, or at least the remains of it by now. It's been put together by HE162, and I believe that it's a, supposed to be a 2017 Ford GT. <laughs> It's got about 450 parts in it, but the body shape is entirely done by tiling out fuel cells. And the whole thing actually weighs about 20 tons in the game, so it doesn't really accelerate like a Tesla. Yes, I'm sorry, it didn't come in cherry red. Although it did turn that colour on re-entry. I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.